Hello. In this video, we're going to discuss about information function called as selected measure. I was eagerly waiting for this function to be enabled by Microsoft, and finally, we have it in this release. With the help of external tools in Power BI Desktop, we can use this feature. To try this new feature, you need to download the latest version of the Power BI Desktop. Also, you can refer my previous video on how to enable the external tools. Let's quickly look at the definition and the syntax of this function and then try to implement it in PBI with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax used by expressions for calculation items to reference the measure that is in context. So it doesn't have any parameter. And you can see the return value, a reference to the measure that is currently in context when the calculation item is evaluated. And we have some examples as well. So calculate, and we are using selected measure with the calculate function. And in this example, they have used dates year to date. We are gonna use the same example in our video and then see how we can use this function to get the desired output. Let's quickly head to the PBI file. I have this sample data set and the table called as fact, and we have some columns like order date, ID, region, uh, quantity, cost, and revenue. And if I go to the report here, I have uh, simple metrics here. I have the region and then few measures, something like quantity, total cost, total profit, and total revenue. It's, it's just a normal measure, uh, no complex formulas here. And now, let's say I want to create a calculated field, or like, let's say I want to look at the quantity, MTD, and year to date. So I can do that right here using the dates function. But let's say I have like tens of measures here, but I want to do the same thing for all the measures here. Wouldn't be complex? Yes, it is. I need to do it several times. To avoid that, we can use selected measure function. So what it does, it creates a group, calculated group. And then when we use these values within that, in that context, it's going to, show us the MTD. If we create a group with YTD, we get the YTD in that particular context. So how do we do that? We have to use the external tools. So if I go to the external tools here, I have Tabular Editor. Click on the Tabular Editor and a new window opens up. So as you can see, I have the tabular editor in a new window. And then you have a model here and you have several folders. So expand this folder tables here. And as you can see, it's our table, the fact. And to create a new calculated group, right click on the tables here, create new and calculation group. Since we are trying to do MTD and YTD, I'm gonna call this group as period. And if you expand this folder here, you can see the calculation items and the name here. So what I'm gonna do here is right click on the calculation items and new calculation item and I will call this as MTD. Let's first do the MTD and then head towards YTD. So in the expression editor, use the calculate function, what we saw in the documentation. Calculate, I'm gonna use selected measure and then open and close the brackets. And then here, I'm gonna use dates MTD function, apply it on the table. So the table here is fact. And then the column name here in my table is order date. Okay. 
close the brackets and check accept change so I created MTD. So I'm going to create YTD as well. New calculation item, YTD. I'm going to copy the same measure from MTD for the sake of time and paste it here. Change from MTD to YTD. Okay. So now I will save this file. And if I go back to my Power BI desktop here, it says one more, one or more calculation groups needs to be manually refreshed. Okay, I'm gonna click on refresh now. Just give it a second, so it's working. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on this matrix here. And as you can see, if I minimize my fact table here, I have a new table here. It's called period. So what I'm gonna do is drag this name to the columns and then you should be able to see the calculated groups. So now if you see here, I have MTD for total quantity, cost, profit and revenue and similarly YTD. So instead of creating several measures for MTD, YTD or QTD, I was able to do this with the help of external tools and using the selected measure function. So I can remove anything, remove total profit, and I have only this. So if I want to bring in again, let's say quantity, let's bring in the cost here. I just need to drag this here, total cost, and I have it here. So this is how we can use external tools like uh, tabular editor and with the help of selected measure function we can create this calculated groups okay that's for that's all for today and if you have any questions please drop me a note in the comment section and i'm going to revert back to you hope this video was helpful and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share my video okay and thanks for watching have a great day